Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R740 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on network cards. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. It's a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R740 server. Do us a favor, find anything that helps in this video. Click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. Uh, this video is specifically dedicated to network cards. So what we're gonna do in this video is go over the different types of cards, which there's two types. We're gonna go over the different interfaces, the different speeds. Then we're gonna show you how to physically install both types. And then at the end, we're gonna put up a list of uh, compatible cards for your R740, and it's not an all-inclusive list because there are so many types of network cards out there. Uh, this is just a bunch that we have listed that we know are compatible. And if there's other stuff that you think people will like, hey, drop a comment down below and help other users out. So, all right, well, let's hop in first with the two types. There is, uh, well, on my right here, we have the network daughter card. You might see it listed sometime as the NDC. And the network daughter card, uh, I'm a really big fan of because uh, if you, when we open this up, we'll show you there's an actual carved out slot in the back that is dedicated specifically for the network daughter card, whereas the second type is our PCIe card. And this is a great type as well, especially if you wanna add in uh, additional network cards on top of your network daughter card. But the uh, PCIe will use your PCIe slots, of course, and that is the one downfall because you might want your PCIe slots for other things, really. Uh, but the nice thing about the, um, the 740 is there's so many PCIe slots, not as big a deal, and you can stuff a ton of network cards in there. Whereas with the one you like an R640, uh, especially the, uh, the R640 that has two in the rear only has one PCIe slot. That, that, that's a really important PCIe slot if you need it for different things, right? Um, the other R640s come with three PCIe slots, whereas the uh, the 740 is gonna have a much more uh, robust platform on the PCIe slide, so it, it's not as big a deal, but we, for that reason, recommend the network daughter card, okay? All right, now uh, let's go over the different types of interfaces. You have RJ45, you have SFP, SFP+, SFP28, QSFP, and QSFP56. So those will be the uh, different types of interfaces that you can use. So what are the different speeds? You got one gigabit, you got eight gigabit, 10 gigabit, 16 gigabit, 25, 32, 40, or all the way up to 100. Yes, you can go all the way up to 100. So those are the different uh, speeds that you can use as a whole. All right, so now that we know a little bit more about the interfaces, the different types, the uh, different speeds, let's go ahead and hop in and show you how to physically install both the network daughter card and the PCIe. All right, now that I have my ESD gear on, let's go ahead and get the install started. So I laid out our PCIe card and our network daughter card. And again, a big fan of the network daughter card. You can see uh, the way that it's shaped. And when we open this up, that it is a specific carved out slot, which is you know why I like to make sure that we use it. Uh, when we come over here, you're gonna notice we're gonna need to remove riser two in order to have access to our network daughter card. And this is fairly simple. Um, there's two blue screws in the back that you're gonna wanna unhook. You'll even feel the spring come off. Um, if it's too tight, it's just a Phillips head. Uh, most of the time you can do it by hand though. And so we're just gonna unscrew these to start. Once that releases, we're able to physically remove riser two, but we're gonna need to push our blue clip in right here. And we're just gonna lift this uh, straight up. First thing I always like to do uh, with our network daughter card is I take the interface over here and I make sure that it's fully inserted through the slot because if you don't have it fully in there, nothing else will line up properly. So let me show you how I like to do it. So I like to take this, uh, put this all the way in to start and then start coming down almost like a hinge. And when I do, it'll go fully in and then everything will line up over here. And then the two blue dots with the fingers pointing at it, you're gonna push down right there and you will feel the connection go into the motherboard. If you don't, then it's not lined up properly. Um, and when you do, the two screws will kind of actually pop up just slightly and then you screw them down. So it's a really easy install uh, overall. Um, if you're doing this at home for a home lab server, uh, it's, it's very simple. It's definitely something that you can do. Um, it's something that I highly recommend again is a network daughter card. So now we'll show you uh, how to do the PCIe card, which is also uh, very, very easy. So uh, the riser that we just removed, what we're gonna need to do is actually remove one of these brackets right here. So we're gonna take our blue piece and lift this up. And then we're gonna take our top bracket out. Looks like I move the second one, lock that back in. And then once we've taken our top bracket out, it's all about three points of contact. So the uh, tip right here of our uh, PCIe bracket, as well as the two leads 
on our uh, connector here all need to line up. So those are your three points of contact you need to pay attention to. So we're just gonna come right in, get everything lined up properly and you'll see everything's lined up nice and flush. And then we're just gonna push it down and make sure that you don't see any of the gold tips. It's fully in there. And once that's done, we just push our blue plastic piece back down and everything's locked into place. We're gonna come back over here and we are going to uh, reinstall our riser. Now when we install our riser, the first thing I like to do is on the, uh, the metal housing, there's a hole right here that goes to a black point over here. I actually like to start there, line that up, and then I kind of make sure that this is all the way back to come down. And then once that's set up, it's really easy just to come straight down and just push everything and make sure that it is nice and flush and everything's good to go. Well, hey, if you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built servers, Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we do new and we do use, and we do a ton of 740 and 740XDs, and we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center, your home labs business. Please email us at sales at Thanks for stopping by, guys. Take care.